Forgiveness is a very strange twin-edged sword. You know, I forgive myself. Let me remember what it is. What is it am I forgiving myself for again? Oh, yes, that's right. I said this, or I did that, or I neglected to say this, or I neglected to do that. That's all there is, by the way. Things that you said or did, or things that you neglected to say or do. That's everything. That covers everything. So, what is it I'm forgiving my... Oh, let me think about it. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I stole that child's uh, Halloween candy. That was so mean of me to do that. Okay, let me think about myself stealing the Halloween candy. And I'm going to forgive myself because I was really hungry that day. And I didn't get as much Halloween candy. And so, now I'm going to forgive myself for stealing the Halloween candy. See, the problem with forgiving anybody, someone else or yourself... You have constantly to remember the thing you're forgiving somebody for, including yourself. So instead of forgiving, let's do some forgetting. How do we forget? We transcend. Go to a bigger level of experience. A bigger level of experience means let your awareness expand out into unified field consciousness. Let's remember that our future is not issuing forth from our past. Our future is issuing forth from our present, our present moment awareness. And so if present moment awareness is constantly trying to remember what it is that's so forgivable, then the future continues to reproduce the same thing. You're just conceiving and constructing and governing and becoming the same thoughts over and over and over again. Repetition, the ever-repeating known, is stagnation. And nature always sends destruction operators, scavengers and predators to remove anything that's stagnating. Let's not be stagnant. Let's step out of all of this and get into that present moment awareness. Learn how to stop thinking altogether. And this is transcendence. Transcendence amounts to being able, on the basis of experiencing bliss, being able to go beyond all these petty thoughts about what I did once or what I neglected to do once, what I said once or what I neglected to say once, all of that you know, obsession with the past, we need to come out of that and be in the present.